Well, here we are again. Hey guys, it's me, Xander, aka Rebel Studio here. Today is New Year's Eve, and this will be my last video for 2023. And since this is my last video, I want to do something special to end this year. So today, I'll be talking about my top three best films I ever created in 2023. Now, before I start, I'm just going to say that this will be mainly my opinion, but also a little bit of my fans who pick which of my films were the best. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Coming in at number 3, we got Xander in Jurassic World 3, The Prologue. Now, this film was not everyone's favorite, but some of you guys really enjoyed this film. One of the reasons why I think it's at number 3 is because this was animated. Sort of. I basically just sketched a bunch of drawings and just animated it on Codemaster. And let me tell you, the editing was alright when I was making it, no problems. But... One of the most hardest things when making this film was drawing the Carnotaurus. Oh my goodness. I had to draw two or three drawings a day and being very patient and not rushing each sketch was a pain. And even there was so much more I got to draw. I even did some drawings while I was at school when I didn't have any work to do. And I was so proud of myself that I did that because I managed to draw everything on what I needed in just four days. At number 2, we got T-Rex vs. Indoraptor. Now, this film deserves to be on number 2nd, because crazy thing is, this film hit 1,000 views. That is insane, and I would never expect it, because when I finish a film and post it on YouTube, I never think I would get 1,000 views. I was expecting maybe 100 or 200 views, but wow. Thank you all so much for this video to blow up and leave me nice comments. You're the reason why I keep on making these videos. Now talking about this short film, I really like this one because the stop motion was just so smooth and the angle shots were pretty good if I do say so myself. Even this was filmed behind a green screen background and I just add some background stuff in the editing effects. But other than that, the stop motion was kind of fun and also hard. Because for the past two days, while I was working on it, I was mostly in my room and just moving my dinosaur figures ever so slowly to make sure it was perfect for a smooth stop motion. And now, the number one best film I ever created in 2023 is... Zolt and Malik. You guys already knew this will be on my list. And when I made the community post about it, 73% of you guys really enjoyed this film. And I totally agree with you all. This film was such a fun project to make, and this was created for a school talent show during this summer, and I did a good job making this. The plot of the story was good, there were some good moments, sad moments, and gruesome moments. Besides that, the stop motion and 3D animations were really good, especially for my first time making 3D animations. Another thing why I like this film was because this was something that got me inspired from different movies and TV shows. For example, Primal. That show got me inspired because there was a caveman named Spear, and he becomes friends with a T-Rex named Fame, and that got me full excitement. That's why I want to do something where a dino warrior is friends with a fairpod dinosaur, and I chose the Ceratosaurus because it never gets any love and deserves to be treated with love like other popular dinosaurs. But the main thing that got me inspired was not because of the school talent show or just films or movies, but because of the name Zolt. You see, I am a big fan of the movie Disney Bolt, and I have a friend that calls me Zolt, like you put Xander, Bolt, together, Zolt, and I really like that nickname, so I thought about using that name for the film, and of course, my friend loved that. Now speaking of Zolt, Zolt is very different besides being a Dino Warrior. How is he different? Well, he is a mute person, meaning he cannot speak, but he is still capable of shouting at his enemies when fighting. That's why during the film, he never talks and just been doing sign language. Well, that's it for this video. Before I go, I just want to say that we managed to hit 2,708 subscribers. That is crazy to see how much this channel is growing. And I am so thankful for you guys. And I mean all of you. Now, real question is, what would I be doing in 2024? Well, I will post some videos, but during March of 2024, 
I won't be posting much because that's when I'm working on Xander in Jurassic World 3. And also, too, the script is not done yet. So I gotta keep on writing. Alright, that's all I gotta say. Happy New Year's, everyone. I'm Rebel Studio, and I'll see you all next year.